can see pretty much uh, I, I sped through even some of the other ones the guy had done I just wanted to mark a few of them but as you roll along here it seems this guy has a really really tough time figuring out what that yellow double lines for as far as uh, with that big old pickup truck of his uh, I see semi trucks can roll through here all the time and they manage to stay on their side of the road But this old boy up there just I guess figures that man He got a big old pickup truck and it's just really hard to keep on the highway uh, None of the rest of us seem to be having this kind of trouble, but I do run into this quite a little bit uh, I don't know if they're bothering to go out there and look out across the fields and they're just not paying attention to where they're going uh, This seems to be a an ongoing trait here. Uh, I'm really shocked there's not more fatalities out here because of this. There's been several head-ons on this highway. In fact, that's one of the reasons why I do believe they made this a solid double most of the way down through before it used to be just a dotted line and they kind of let us go. Oh, as we're passing this right up here, you notice this fence off here on the right-hand side. Pretty big and badass, ain't it? Well, supposedly they're going to be putting some sort of exotic wild game over in there and that's why they had to build it. It was really neat watching them do it. It's like nine feet tall, man, solid steel pipe, and it's got this woven wire cage stuff that they threw in there. You know, it's, and it's all the way around. Uh, I, somebody put in a lot of money. I don't know what's going to be in there exactly, just some sort of wild exotic game. This little spot right here, it don't look like much. It used to be a little bit nicer, but a tornado come through and wiped out most of the stuff through here. Uh, see, now Mr. Speedy Gonzalez here, he's in a hurry. He's going to go ahead and jump out there and pass that car that's trying to turn. I mean, he's not really having a bad enough time already keeping in his lane. I mean, let's just go ahead and toss it out there that he needs to go ahead and do this, too. Um, yeah, you can see the leaves are starting to change color. I hope that's kind of an enjoyable thing. This film was shot, oh, hell, probably a week and a half, two weeks ago. So the leaves have changed some more, and there's some more missing, but... Like I said, just kind of enjoy watching this guy bob and weave as he's going down the road. And I probably got another 20 minutes of footage of this, and I'm not going to go to that extreme because, quite frankly, I just don't really see a point. You get the logist, though. I mean, check it out. It, it just it fascinates me that people can drive this bad on a consistent basis. They don't get tickets for it. They don't get pulled over. It just seems to be allowed, I guess. This is the middle of the day. I'm pretty sure the old boy ain't drunk. He just likely just isn't paying attention. I mean, not much more than that. Just not paying attention. Uh, this used to be all nothing through here on the right-hand side. Guy kind of tore everything out from scratch. Um, obviously, he's a truck driver. Probably sure that's where the money's coming from. Oh, and then coming down here will be the river hole. Uh, off in the distance there, you can see off there, you'll see some smoke. Uh, someone was burning something off. Anyway, hope you enjoyed it. Just my pet peeve. I have an issue with bad drivers. Thanks. Watch, share, have a good time. Bye.